we're going to have a look at the game Flower Visitors. For this game, you'll need a pack of cards where you've removed the 10 Jack, Queen, King um, and Jokers. So you're just left with the 1 through 9 cards. You also need a flower number line, uh, 2 counters and 22 small beans. You'll shuffle the cards and place them face down. Uh, you will put one bean on every number on the uh, board from 1 through to 20. You won't put any on 0 and you'll put 2 on 10 and you'll put 2 on 20. And then you'll have your two counters and obviously then it'll be played with two people, one person being the red counter and the other person being the yellow counter. On each person's turn, what they'll do, so let's say we start with the red person, they'll turn over the top card, uh, in this case two, and they'll move their counter two steps. If there's a bean on that step, they'll take the bean. Then the yellow person goes and they'll move eight steps and take the bean from there. Then if the red person takes uh, turns over a three, they'll then move a further three and so they'll end up at five and take the bean from there. If the yellow person then turns over a two, they'll go to 10 and there they're very lucky because they'll get two beans this time. If the red person then turns over a five, they then also end up at 10 and they're unfortunate because there aren't any beans left for them to take there. And then it continues in this way until all the beans have been taken or all the cards have been used. And the winner will be the person with the most beans. The only two little things to note here. The first is, say for example, we were in this situation and it's the yellow person's turn and they turn over a nine. Well, obviously if you, from 13 you go nine steps, you're going to end beyond 20. And so any time in a, you're in a situation where you're in beyond 20, you actually just go straight back to zero. You won't get any beans on that turn, but the next turn you might be able to. The other thing we want to notice is the following. If the red person turned over a three, they obviously can count like this. One, two, three. And that's fine in the beginning. But what we really want them to be able to get to is over time to immediately be able to go from two, three more will get me to five. So we're going to work towards moving them away from counting up one at a time to simply doing it in one step. 